Yeah, sometimes I'll, I might for the finals when I have more time, since I got my own sheet at home, sometimes I'll do this, but it just takes so much time to put it together. I got one now I've been doing. I put it. Closed captioning for the Iowa High School State Championships is brought to you by... They say Buena Vista University is in the middle of a bunch of fields. Hey guys, wait up! Game on. They say our idea of fun is morning tea. And afternoon tea. And anytime tea. And we hang out like bumps on a log. They say Storm Lake Iowa isn't in the center of the action. And when we study, we're not exactly grounded. But you know what we say. You gotta see it to believe it. Wells Fargo Arena, Des Moines, Iowa. We are set here for the pregame action. 2A semifinal. Our pregame coverage brought to you by Channel Seed. What a great day here. What a great weekend here in Des Moines, Iowa as we get set for this one. AP, the Falcons, 24-1 taking on the trainer Cardinals, Bob. We are looking at 49-1 when you combine <laughs> these two teams, and that's kind of what we are here at the Northwest Bank Sports Desk. We're usually undefeated, but one loss will take. Pretty good matchup when you look at these two teams. And when Aaron Thomas is here, it's always a good day. Absolutely. The Battle of the Birds, it should be a great oh, one. Yeah. I tell you what, they both know a little bit about this place here, though. They, As recently as 2015, they were here. Trainer, of course, won, won that it. tournament. And AP was fourth. A lot of people forget that. So they've had recent history here. Great football programs. Let's see how they do on the hardwood. Yeah, I imagine they would go ahead and play football right yeah. after this. Let's take a look at the impact players. Always hard for us to choose the Cookies Impact players. We look at AP, you got a pretty great player and, a, and trainer too, Bob. We break these two kids down. They, they just fill up a box score across the board. That's right, and Oberhauser, you'll see that he's not the only Falcon who's gonna get it done here today, but he is somebody you can count on. Yeah, 28 dependable. points in the quarterfinals, a great game, 16 points a game on the season. He's 6'6", six, six, and he's just a load and a half to deal with. But when you're talking about trainer, you're going to Dylan Faubel. He's the seasoned veteran. He's the man. 14 and a half points a game. Uh, he's just a, a great competitor. And they do have a big man in the middle who will try to handle Oberhauser. But if that's the deal, Faubel will be free to roam. Trainer and AP, the Falcons and the Cardinals getting ready to get after it. That's going to, when you look at what else is going on here in the Channel Seed pregame, the atmosphere is just tremendous. Uh, and you said these two teams, they're proud in every sport, not just this one. Yeah, they are. These are schools with storied programs on, on many different levels in different sports, and they have a lot of pride. They're, they're going to have great crowd up here. You've seen them guys file in. It should be a great atmosphere, as all these games are. But, you know, the overall atmosphere, who shows up to play? Who sticks with their program? They got the quarterfinal jitters out. Let's see if they really give us a show here in the semis. be interesting. You won't be able to tell the teams apart if you don't know who's no. home and who's away because they'll look just the same. That's going to do it right now for Bob Selby, David Bingham here at the Northwest Bank Sports Desk. We'll be back with more basketball on the High V Championship Network. Northwest Bank is top notch. You may be a one-time customer, you may be a lifetime customer, but they're always going to look out for you and take care of you. Northwest Bank has the ability to help you do what you need to have done with your mortgage. To me, probably the number one thing is their ability to get the job done. Easy to work with, explain things very well, people that you trust and people that you see every day. That type of skill and knowledge sitting behind that desk when you're coming to sign those papers is very important. I've always trusted Northwest Bank and I definitely trust them with the biggest purchase we've ever made. The Iowa Farm Bureau is proud to present this amazing state tournament and celebrate the accomplishments of Iowa's top teams and student athletes. To the Iowa Farm Bureau, this is more than just a sport. 
It's a chance for a small town kid to make it big. It's our future leaders. It's a reason to do more, to be more. And it's that farm strong spirit that can be found only in Iowa. And it's why, for a century, we provided nearly a half a million dollars in scholarships each year to young Iowans, recognizing student achievement in athletics, academics, and the fine arts. It's also why we're proud to be the sole title sponsor of the Iowa Girls High School Athletic Union, the Iowa High School Athletic Association, and the presenting sponsor of the Iowa Hall of Pride. Congratulations to all the student athletes and the coaches on a successful year, and remember the task ahead of you is never greater than the strength within you. And welcome to Wells Fargo Arena. Rick Silvestrini and Dave Lane with you on the High B Championship Network, this Class 2A semifinal, and we are underway as it's Applington Parkersburg against Trainer in the first turnover of the ball game. Uh, AP coming out here with some trapping half-court pressure. Hot Trainer a little off guard. One of two tonight in the 2A semis. There's a long three buried by Aaron Price and the Falcons are on the board, three to nothing. Right. And a steal, and it's five to nothing. Trader back the other way, and they go inside of the score. And Luke their leading score, averaging 17 points a game. Cavalier from downtown, that's a little too hard. And rebounded by Trainer. They push it up. Well, you saw some, uh, some slower paced games early on with the 4A. 2A getting right off to it here in these semifinals. Jorgensen, now they swing it around to the far wing. And nearly going out of bounds, and they do step out of bounds. A traveling call, actually, and it's a turnover, and Applington Parkersburg has it back. Saw their coach, Aaron Thomas. On the sidelines for the Falcons and his team leading early on here, 5-2 to two in the first quarter. Inside they go, and Oberhauser gets a block. A long three, NBA range, and buried by Dylan Fobble. Fobble at 28 in the quarterfinals. Trainer with the rebound. And Schwarty for Trainer or for Trainer is causing a lot of problems in there. He had five blocks in their first round win. Clausen with the miss. Rebound Falcons. What a pace here early on. Here's another three. Price buries it. Eight to five, Falcons. Pass through side Jorgensen, now back up top. Fobble, one-handed pass, Jorgensen going inside. Schwarty back out, here's Flossen from downtown, in and out, no, rebounded Hoff. In transition, and we are going to get a foul on the floor. Oh, what a pace here, Dave. <laughs> yeah, here you see the... Uh the the, uh, pre or the trap here and trainer able to swing it over to get uh, uh, get Fobble the three and then in transition Aaron Price for AP knocking it down from the corner. So the foul was on the floor, no shooting foul. We're under five minutes to go here in the first quarter of this 2A semifinal. Applington Parkersburg with it and they're up eight to five. Here's Dylan Ellis who just checked in outside Oberhauser. <laughs> 
Oberhauser right now doing it all. Leads the team in blocks, assists. They're knocking down the three, runs the point of this little half-court trap. Forcing yeah. turnovers. They do force a turnover, but a foul call. Well, Oberhauser, Oberhauser, Dave, is uh, a thousand-point scorer for this team. Yeah, right there, just a good space out, able to uh, uh, find his, his, uh, his little spot there and knock it down with the assist from Dylan Ellis. But he has been all over the court here in these first three and a half minutes. Dylan Ellis inbounds to Oberhauser. Trainer down now 11 to 5. Falcons with the basketball. Inside, and we've got a foul. Might be able to take a breath now on these free throws. <laughs> Trainer coach Scott Rucker, 240 wins in his career, and at the line is going to be Cavalier. Cavalier, a 71% free throw shooter, leading scorer on this team, nearly 19 a game, and makes the first. Yeah, Cavalier and Oberhauser are a pretty prolific one two punch there. Oberhauser, seven assists and seven blocks, averaging on the year. Had a rough quarterfinal game, eight turnovers. Missed the second, but trying to get the offensive board, and he commits the foul. Went after it late. Good start here for the Falcons, up 12-5. We're going to see Aaron Price check back in. And also coming back in is Schwarty for the Cardinals. Schwarty with the early foul. Wanted to do, uh, Coach Rucker wanted to keep him out of foul trouble. Give him a little breather, now he's back in. Pressure again by the Falcons. Trainer gets it over. 4-11 to go here in the first quarter. Dave Blaine, Rick Silvestrini with you. Near side to Fobel. Into the quarter, there's a chance for an open three, and it's a little too hard. Rebounded by the Falcons, and stolen away. They've got some numbers underneath. Schwarty. Cavalier. The runner off the glass is good. 14 to seven, Applington Parkersburg. High tempo game here in this 2A semifinal action. The miss and rebound by Applington Parkersburg. Falcons on the run. Cavalier trying to go coast to coast. Now dishes off. Palace misses. They get the offensive board. Back to Ellis. Scoop shot. No. And another offensive rebound. The floater is an air ball that time by Price. Just all over the offensive glass. It's a big problem for Trainer in their quarterfinal win. Three chances at it for Applington Parkersburg, and now another loose ball, and we're going to get a jump ball. Jump ball, possession arrow. Will favor Applington Parkersburg. Time for a break. This is the Iowa High School State Championships live on the High V Championship Network. Take advantage of this offer from Alliant Energy and start saving money and energy now. There are other options too. Learn how with a free top to bottom home energy assessment. Find air leaks, install LED bulbs, and get simple ideas to save energy for your entire home. Plus rebates to help you replace that old furnace or air conditioner. It's easy. Call 1-866-ALLIANT or visit AlliantEnergy.com slash options. Dreams start early. Illustrated straight from the heart. Big or small, dreams take hard work to grow into reality. To bring your dreams to life, sometimes you need a little help. So surround yourself with people who believe in your dreams and count on Bank Iowa to help you reach them. Bank Iowa, for the dreamer in all of us. Opportunities are out there. When it comes to getting maximum productivity from your acres, who can you turn to? I got a guy who works with me to customize a plan for each acre. 
not a one-size-fits-all solution. I got a guy who knows which corn products will help me get more out of this field. I got a guy who digs deeper, treats my business like it's his. Who do I turn to? My channel seedsman. Find your channel seedsman at channel.com. And welcome back live here at the High Bay Championship Network. First quarter action, 2A semifinals. Applington Parkersburg up by 7, 14 to 7. And Dave Trainer having trouble holding on to the ball right now. Yeah, five early turnovers. Just the uh, frenetic trap here from Applington Parkersburg has forced a lot of turnovers. You know, again, when you've got 6-6 uh, six, six running the point on that uh, zone trap, it's going to make for some lob passes and, and some tips that we've seen here. Overhauser with the basketball, 2.37 to go here in the quarter. And a steal, this time Trader gets the turnover. On the break, it's a two on one, losing the ball out of bounds. The last touch by Applington Parkersburg. Well, Trainer with 18 points off of turnovers in their first round uh, uh, victory against Wapolo. They have, and they converted. It wasn't a ton of turnovers, they just converted them. Beautiful inbounds play, but Fobble cannot connect. Come the Falcons. Cavalier. And he's going back to the line. Not the prettiest of post moves. Didn't necessarily look comfortable, but uh, went up there and was able to draw contact and get to the free throw line. One for two on his first two attempts. He'll have two more here. He's a good free throw shooter on the season, around 71%. And this one rattles in. Be interesting now is as we kind of get settled in a fast pace to get started those first four minutes uh, both teams are shooting well over 50 percent now they're down in the uh, 45 40 percent range jack parks in the game for the cardinals and another miss here by cavalier close captioning brought to you by buta vista university and storm lake bbu is the only college in iowa to promise a solid internship a degree in four years and a job within six months of graduation find out more at bbu.edu slash now. Trainer being able to handle the pressure a little bit more. They're going to start to get comfortable with it. I'd like to see the ball get to the middle of the floor a little bit more instead of staying out on the perimeter the whole time. 15-7, Applington Parkersburg, and another turnover for Trainer and an unforced one at that. Yeah, just some miscommunication there. Luke Boston at the top. He cut, and uh, Favel just uh, was expecting him to stay, stay up top. So Oberhauser with it for the Falcons. Over to Cavalier. Now inside to Cavalier, we've got a foul the other way, offensive foul this time, but it's going back to Trainer. Yeah, moving screen. Nice little play they had. Uh, uh, Cavalier wide open for the layup. You see Scott Rucker, 240 wins in his career to just 48 losses. Trainer on the year, now 25-0. They are the top seed in Class 2A, making their 15th appearance at the state tournament. They won it all back in 2015. And there is Aaron Thomas, former Drake Bulldog. 246 wins for Thomas in his career, so these guys know how to coach him up. 137 to go here in the first. Stock Dill around to Fabo. Cut off on the baseline. And a steal. Another turnover for Trainer. Here's Cavalier. He nearly travels. Left-handed runner does not go. That was Oberhauser. Trap in the corner. That leaves a man wide open. Three ball no good, and Cavalier comes down with the rebound. One minute to go here in quarter number one. Oberhauser, Cavalier nearly throwing it away, and Price gets it near midfoot. Cavalier looking to drive. Gets a little contact, and now we're going to get a foul on the rebound, and it's going to be on Cavalier. Hey, that's going to be his second foul. Uh, he's going to have to come out for the final 45 seconds and possibly much of the second quarter. As you said earlier, Cavalier leading scorer, 18, almost 19 points a game. 
for the Falcons. He shoots Dave 63% from the field. I mean, crazy numbers. Well, and a lot of it is like you just saw there, the off of penetration. He's only made eight threes on the year. So 39 seconds to go here in quarter number one. After a really hot start, we've had a little lull here in the last couple of minutes of the quarter. Out of bounds, and it's going to remain with Trainer. Not sure when the last score was, Dave, but it's been a while. Couldn't yeah, catch we, our breath in the first minute. We've been stuck on 15-7 <laughs> for a long time. Trainer inbounds. And home white uniforms. Fobble passes. And the three ball hit by Jack Stockdale. Big one there by Trainer. Cuts it to five here with 12 seconds left in the quarter. See what Coach Thomas Piles up here at the end of the quarter. Oberhauser going in all the way, and he is fouled on the floor. So with 5.7 seconds left, Appleton Parkersburg will inbound. We've got the size of the Oberhauser there in the middle. Wouldn't be surprised to see a lot of action here. They faked it to Oberhauser, and instead a traveling call, and that's going to be on Junior Bobby. So they used uh, Oberhauser as a decoy there, and they end up turning the ball over. Yeah, and uh, Bodden just uh, got going, eyes opened up. They saw that rim, but uh, got to put it on the floor first. The trainer could score here. It could be a maybe a 5-0 yeah, run here get, to end the, to the quarter. Rim. Two seconds. Here's the three-pointer. No good. And we have played one. Applington Parkersburg 15. Trainer 10. This is the Iowa High School State Championships live on the High V Championship Network. At High V Market Grill, you'll find something for everyone. Steaks grilled to perfection, delicious pasta, wood oven flatbread pizzas, and the burgers are the best in town. Plus, you've got to try our delicious Sunday brunch. And Hy-Vee Market Grills are next to Hy-Vee stores, so it's not like we're going to run out of food. It's good food, good times, and we love to see people smile. So get on into Hy-Vee Market Grill today. When we act as an advocate for Iowa farmers, And we're back here live on the High B Championship Network. Applington Parkersburg with a five point lead over Trainer after one quarter of play in this 2A semifinal on the High B Championship Network. See Aaron Thomas looking on. His team got out to a very good start. Trainer will get the ball to begin quarter number two. There's a wide open three, and it's good by Luke Lawson. So a 6 0 run here, Dave, and a turnover. Right back in it. They've withstood it. Withstood that initial barrage of just turnovers, and they've really taken care of the ball here. Good ball movement. Shooter ready to shoot. Left him wide open. Lawson is their best three point shooter. Turnaround in the paint. Good by Shirley. And we are tied at 15. And 8 0 run. Cavalier in there with two fouls. He's got to be careful on 40. Nearly another turnover. Falcons here a little jittery to start the quarter. Three ball the other way by Oberhauser. That guy right there. He's going to be fun to watch. Going to be playing his college ball at Grandview right here in Des Moines. Turn around and up. This time, Schwarty, he's eating up. He's got that turnover, his left shoulder down, able to use the glass. The Cavalier thought about it. He's getting it to Oberhauser. And that was uh, barely touched the rim, I think. It was a little heat check there, but you see Oberhauser. Uh, down screen there, able to pop out and knock it down. 
And Sorda just kind of gathers himself, doesn't rush. Able to turn and find the spot on the backboard. It's a one-point game. Falcons up by one. Not anymore. Jorgensen from downtown. Price the other way. Good ball fake for Price. Gets the two trainer. Defenders up in the air. Well, we are knotted at 20. Now the pace picking up again after a little lull there at the end of the first quarter. Almost two minutes gone here in quarter number two in this 2A semifinal on the High B Championship Network. Final. Now back out to midcourt. I like what Trainer has done here the last couple of possessions. They've tried to get that ball into the middle against the zone. It's going to open up the shooters either in the corner or even a little high low to Swarty. Fable with the ball. Long offensive possession here for the Cardinals, and we've got a foul. That's going to be on Cavalier. Now here you see they get that touch to the middle. Collapses the defense, opens up those shooters on the wing. And that was up behind the NBA three there. <laughs> you know, we talked talked about it earlier, and you see the uh, three-point tally right now. Both teams are shooting the ball well from outside. Yeah, starting to heat up, back up again. Fobble, good. Get that ball into the middle. Now you've got Kovalier out with three fouls. And we got a uh, turnover the other way. Like a carry there. The Iowa High School Sports Network would like to thank Bank Iowa, Channel C, Cookies, and Northwest Bank for their help in bringing the Iowa High School State Basketball Championships live to all of our viewers and listeners. Two-point game, nearing the five-minute mark, quarter number two. Clawson misses that time, offensive rebound does not go, though, and Stogdale mad that he couldn't put that one in. That good crash, had the, uh, another miss there from point-blank range. He missed it on that out-of-bounds play earlier, too. Truax giving it up to Ellis, now a bounce pass inside, and we've got a foul. Two shots are coming up for Grant Truax. One of the things that Oberhauser does really well, you can see passes the ball well to begin with, but right there, when they get him in the in the post, he's not necessarily looking to make a post move. He's looking for his teammates to kind of cut, dive to the basket, and he's able to find him. First free throw for Truox, no good, shooting just 42% from the line on the year. He had a nice quarterfinal game with 12 points against South Hamilton. They won that one 54 to 51. One more coming up for Truox, the 6 0 senior. And the second one's good. Trainer by one. Got a little different action here. A little 2 2 1 look. Back into a 2 3 zone. Clausen to Tarks, back to Clausen. Now Fobble's got the ball. They'll reset the offense. What a stock deal. Kicks it outside, and good ball movement over to Clausen for three. Clausen with eight now in the ball game. Three-pointer the other way by Price. Too hard off the iron. Who's going to get the rebound? And Price nearly got it, but Trainer comes up with it. Yeah, good, uh, good job in the loose ball by Trainer. Little runner on the baseline, and the sweet ball there. And that's Jack Tarks. Just a sophomore. Oberhauser, good. Good strength, good hesitation. Took the contact and was able to finish it. Big bucket for AP. He's in double figures with 10. Reporter the other way. And a 
gets fouled. All right, both these teams red hot from beyond the arc. Another three, and that one is short by Oberhauser. An offensive board, and we got a jump ball. Time for a break. Traders open up a seven point lead. We'll be right back. You are watching live the High V Championship Network. At High V Market Grill, you'll find something for everyone. Steaks grilled to perfection, delicious pasta, wood oven flatbread pizzas, and the burgers are the best in town. Plus, you've got to try our delicious Sunday brunch. And Hy-Vee Market Grills are next to Hy-Vee stores, so it's not like we're going to run out of food. It's good food, good times, and we love to see people smile. So get on into Hy-Vee Market Grill today. When we act as an advocate for Iowa farmers, I rise up. When we reinvest $80 million in a decade to bring jobs to rural communities, I rise up. When we provide nearly half a million dollars in scholarships to young Iowans each year, I rise up. When we invest in solutions that create opportunities and improve the quality of life for all Iowans, I rise up. We're Iowa Farm Bureau, and we do these things because we're your neighbors. We're Iowans, and nothing feels better than seeing Iowa rising. Championship Network, our Delta Dental Smile Cam, and right now, the team that's smiling is Trader up by seven, 30 to 23. They've come out, they've adjusted to that zone pressure, some early turnovers, five turnovers early in the first quarter, and now they've, they've kind of find, found some soft spots in that zone that's allowed them to. Uh, get the ball in there, and then they've been able to find shooters on the perimeter. Six of 12 from beyond the arc are the Cardinals. Three minute mark here in quarter number two in this 2A semifinal. Inside of what? And a scramble to the basketball. Trainer has it. And now another scramble at this court and some contact. They're gonna let him play. Baseline jump shot, no good. Offensive board up and no good. Swarty missed it. He's had a couple down low, Dave, where he's missed point blank. Well, he's almost better when he's got his back to the basket as opposed to those where he's just got to go straight up. Truox drew the foul. So Jorgensen picks up that foul. Going to the line will be Grant Truox. One for two so far tonight at the line. This is a one in one, so it was on the floor. And he missed it. And another jump ball, I believe they're going to call jump ball, and it will go the other way to Trainer. The Iowa High School State Basketball Championships are presented by the Iowa Farm Bureau as sole title sponsor of the Iowa High School Athletic Association. The Iowa Farm Bureau provides millions of dollars in awards, recognition programs, grants, and scholarships, helping to support student achievement on the court and in the classrooms. Falcons now just in this 1-2-2, two, two, but not trapping up top. Cardinals with that seven point lead in the basketball. Stock Dill, 10 footer. No, we got a foul underneath. Let's see who they're going to get here. It's on Appleton Parker's board. With Price down low. I think they got uh, Oberhausen. Box out. So back with the ball is Trainer. 
Stockdale, another three. That is the seventh three-pointer for the Cardinals. And a good screen almost there by Schwartz. Schwartz posting up, kept Baden from getting out to the wing to contest. Now they've opened up a 10-point lead, their largest of the game, and we've got a timeout on the floor. Again, out of the out-of-bounds play, they get the reversal. And again, for the wide open three. Good ball movement by the uh, Cardinals. Aaron Thomas uh, calls that uh, timeout. A special thank you to Farm Bureau High V of the Iowa Bankers Association for working with the Iowa High School Sports Network to televise live the Iowa High School State Basketball Championships. The trainer coming out here, they're shooting 54% from three, just 52% overall. And you can see there, six of 13. Four trainer. Uh, we've got eight Appleton Parker crew there. I'm sorry, 7 of 13, there we go, for Trainer. 4 of 9 for Appleton Barkersburg, which is not too shabby, but it's still not going to be 54%. 1.48 to go, and after that timeout, Falcons will inbound, and they get it into Hoff. Looking for some offense here at the end of the quarter. They find themselves down by 10. At one point, Appleton Parkersburg had an 8-point lead. It has been completely reversed. Here's Bodden, out to Ellis. Ellis, tough jump shot, no good. And then we'll see what AP has for offense here. And quickly down the floor in transition, a score in the foul. Man, oh man, that was Flossen. Watch the uh, transition here, Dave. Yeah, just not, not set. I think who they ended up getting, they got Bodden on the foul. The body on the block. We get on that last possession. Yep. I think that's going to be his second foul. But uh, last possession for Athens of Parkersburg. No Cavalier and no Overhausen. So Clausen misses the free throw, but that gives Trainer a 35 to 23 lead with 1.16 to go here in the second quarter. Overhauser to Ellis. Ellis off the screen. Yeah, this was 15 to 7 Falcons. And since then it's been a 28 to 8 run. Sam Bachman in now as well. Loose ball in. Who's gonna get it? Back to Hefflington Parkersburg. And underneath they get the foul and count it. So Bachman. What looked like it could have been a turnover, and then they turned it into two points and possibly three. Well, a good job there for Dylan Ellis. Got the loose ball and immediately turned to look to see where the bas at the basket to see who might be there. And good recognition there to find Bachman. And he cannot convert. And we're under a minute to go. Now three of eight from the free throw line are the Falcons. Trainer by 10. See how they play it here with 40 seconds. To go, they're uh, firing away, why not? They just keep hitting threes. It's another one, this time Tarks. And a tra is it a traveling violation? It is on Oberhauser. And things unraveling here for Applington Parkersburg. And you see the penetration here from Fobble. Finds Tark knocking down the three. Raining inside. Well, the Falcons lead Class 2A in scoring, but it's the Cardinals tonight hitting everything from outside. Yeah, and it's one of those of, I think, it's just getting contagious right now. 29 and a half seconds left. That was Tark's second three of the year. Unbelievable. When you're hot, you're hot, yeah. man. <laughs> 16 seconds. Fobble, under 10. Fossil to Fobble, five. In a hurry, Jorgensen, and we've got a foul underneath with two seconds to go. Yeah, that was a set there. Just the lob to Schwarty. I think it was it Hoff? Kobe Hoff that uh, 
He may have been going for a box out, thinking it was a shot. And now the discussion is, did was the foul before he had the ball? And he, he yep, did not. It is. Yep. It's going to be a one and one. So Schwarty has a 63% free throw shooter. Will stand up here with two seconds left uh, to go in the half. And I think the reason you know it was a pass was because it was off. Had it been an actual shot, he would have made. He would have made the three. <laughs> Boy, things are going. You think? His only free throw tonight so far missed, and an offensive rebound, but not in time. And the half has ended. Trainer with a big second quarter, and they lead it 38 to 25. This is the Iowa High School State Championships live on the High V Championship Network. Your halftime entertainment tonight is the Little Cyclone Cheerleaders from Ames. Coached by Sarah Buss, this outstanding squad is made up of six seniors, six juniors, five sophomores, and four freshmen. Their team finished fourth in the 4A cheer dance division at the state championships in November. They have three members who have made the 2018 All-State Cheer Squad. Ladies and gentlemen, Please welcome the Little Cyclone Cheerleaders from Ames.
cheerleaders from Ames. All right, Bob, Northwest Bank Sports Desk, Ames High Cheerleaders. Yeah, people throwing stuff at us. Yeah, here. well, there's a lot. Of, we've had a lot of people that we've been uh, saying hi to. We always develop quite a contingency of people we know because of all the different sports. So we got to say, right. say hello. This game, really, when you look at what's going on, and the cheerleaders did a great job, and they do they do that every time here at the semifinals. But when you look at this game. You know, Cavalier gets hurt or gets uh, the three fouls, yeah. and but I mean the turnovers are the same, the rebounds are the same, but it really feels like Trainer just they feel like they can hit anything right now. Right. If you just looked at the stats, everything looks the same. But it, if you just pay attention to what was actually going on out there, what the difference is, I think David is AP after Cavalier had the foul trouble decided to to really stress the the fundamentals of their offense and worry about where they were and their spacing and everything and think too much. Whereas on the other side, I think Trainer emptied their brains and just played basketball. Yeah. They emptied their heads and just played basketball. They just let it loose and I think it was contagious. There was a ripple through that whole team of, of confidence and they just played and, and they were patient down here in the half court too. Yeah, obviously when the other team loses their leading score and maybe their, their heart and soul, it gives you a little confidence too. That's for sure. And you could tell Oberhauser really decided I've got to take this thing over a few times and he answered. He A couple of times he came back and he answered baskets, but then it's kind of stand around and see if he can keep doing it. That becomes difficult. Yeah, and the other thing is the guys off the bench who came in for AP who really didn't think they were going to be playing a major role tonight right, yeah. this early. In the first half, it's a different story. When they get to sit down there at halftime and talk to Coach about their role for the second half, maybe things for them turn around and they can step up a little bit. But they're going to need it. But, of course, I think we'll see something good out of Kuvalier in the second half, too. Yeah, yeah, and Coach Thomas, I think, in his notes when you read it, he said, you know, we've really relied on the two bigs all year, but when we've really needed somebody to step up, they have. So they're really going to need that in the second half. Yeah, it, it'll be an interesting story. We've seen other teams come back from larger deficits. But sometimes things happen to you when you get handcuffed here at the state tournament on this floor. But I, I like the chances of the second half being a little bit better. You looked at the trainer squad and you said it. They look young. I mean, uh, yeah. Swarty looks uh, like he's in sixth grade, but he's <laughs> but he's just uh, you know he has the six points, but he's just really made a difference. His presence has been pretty good, and he's been a great defender. He's done some great things on the defensive end. He has, and, and what he's doing inside is opening up things for a couple of playmakers like Fobble and Clausen. I don't think AP understood the shooting touch like of those Stockdale two kids and, yeah. and the playmaking abilities of them. And as soon as they did pick up, Stogdale would come in and shoot. These guys are just getting splashes left and right. Yeah. Open shots. They're hitting all of them late, midway through the second half. We're taking a look at some highlights here at the Northwest Bank Sports Desk. And we were talking about Fobble. I like to call him Fobbs. But, you know, AP got off to a 15-7 to start, and it looked like they were really in control. Well, when Kuvalier's on the floor and things are okay. Yeah. And that's what happens. But then, you know, after some early success, it looked like they were going to roll. It, it really did. It looked like they were in control, but I just can't, Look can't at stress it enough. The fouls, Kuvalier uh, was a big deal because of the mindset change for AP, but then this shooting. I mean, Trainer just let let go of any thought and <laughs> just got open. And pretty well defended right there. You can't really you can't really fault some of the defense. Uh, later in the second quarter, maybe we, the Falcons could have got a little more, but some of those shots were well contested. But, wow, did they light it up. Yeah, and I tell you what, for AP, since we've met so many friends here, we're supposed to give a shout out to Zion Uhlenhop, who's back home, a little AP Falcon. Today's his golden birthday, his hey. seventh birthday on the seventh. Yeah, if you hang out at the sports desk, that's you, what you get. You get some information. But uh, both of these teams, though, highly successful all year. You're only looking at one loss between them, so this is a difficult spot for AP right now, and we'll talk more about that. And we're just doing great things here at the sports desk. Yeah, but if you wonder how a team like Trainer gets undefeated, and you watch that attitude and that flash out there and that, like I said, a contagious ripple of confidence, it's just unbelievable. That's how you stay undefeated. All right, well, thanks for joining us here on all the coverage, all the semifinals right here on NBC Sports Chicago. We'll be back with more on the Northwest Bank Sports Desk on the High V Championship Network. Today's banking is about so much more than numbers. It's about people. It's about community. It's about the next generation. Banking is personal. That's what we believe. And that's why we'll always put you first. Northwest Bank. Commitment you can bank on.
the Cardinals on top right now. The Falcons 38 to 25, Bob. A game that looked like it was going to be close, and then we talked a little bit about the foul trouble, but should be a tremendous second half here at the Northwest Bank Sports Desk. David Bingham along with my tag team partner, Bob Selby, here with all eight semifinals. One final thought here as we get ready for this. Well, one final thought for me is there's no quit in AP. We know that. Yeah. Across the board, that school district knows nothing but go, go, go. They'll have a good second half. Well, and Coach Thomas, of course, uh, just a legendary coach under his father. Obviously, was a Drake Bulldog, too. Played with Matt Woodley. And I always told him he never got a lot of shots because Woodley wouldn't give him the ball. But <laughs> That's he true. knew a lot about defense. And uh, they're going to defend, and they're hopefully they're going to get somebody else to step up for them. Yeah, absolutely. I think some of these guys got a little bit of uh, – a uh, few minutes off the bench, that's good for them in the first half. They'll be ready to go in the second half, but we'll see that starting five have a little bit better performance here in the second half, but they're going to have to and find something defensively to get out there and switch and move around and stop those open shots those trainer Cardinals are burying. Well, that's going to do it from the Northwest Bank Sports Desk. I know our guys down closer to the floor will have more insight and action here on the second half. Rick Silvestrini and the guys take it away. All right, thanks, Dave and Bob. And hey, we're getting ready for second half action. And Dave, Ken, Applington, Parkersburg, cool this trainer team off because in the first half, 8 of 14 from beyond the arc, 57% lights out shooting. Yeah, trainer struggled a little bit early with the uh, pressure from Applington, Parkersburg. But once they got used to it, they settled down. You look at uh, eight three pointers made. Applington, Parkersburg has nine total made baskets. But I think the other impressive numbers that you look at, 13 assists on 15 made baskets for Trainer. They are doing a good job of getting the ball where they want to, attacking the zone now. They feel comfortable. Hey, Applets is going to have to mix this up or change the pace as best they can if they want to get back into this. All right, we begin the second half, and the Falcons have the ball, and they trail this one 38 to 25. Yeah, we got a quick foul underneath. All of six seconds there. Hope they got Stockdale. And again, they tried to get Oberhauser, Oberhauser into the post. Off on the baseline, lobbing it in. And the foul, and going to the line is going to be Cavalier. With a little play off the... Uh, off the inbound. Yeah, they ran a little, uh, they ran a couple guys off of Cavalier as a screener and then threw it up to him. Uh, was right there, but just came down at the very end. And he makes the first. The Iowa High School Sports Network would like to take a moment to express our sincere thanks to the Iowa Cubs, Alliant Energy, and the Governor's Traffic Safety Bureau for assisting us in broadcasting live the Iowa High School State Basketball Championships to all of you tuning in. Well, Cavalier is a guy that they need to get going. They're going to get into it here. He had four points in the first half. He had three fouls, so almost as many fouls as points for your leading score is not good. Fobble, lobs it inside, and Schwarty had a little trouble getting that ball, but he does connect eventually. I think they wanted the alley-oop, but it just wasn't going to happen. Off the glass and good by Cavalier. Well, you call it, Dave. He's starting to get aggressive here. Yeah, they uh, Coach Thomas said we need to get him the ball, and he's been aggressive with it. Got it the first two possessions of the half. Three-pointer the other way, and a rare miss. Clausen misses it, but an offensive board by the Cardinals. Fobble, one of the shortest guys in there. He's the one who comes out of it. There's another three, and on the second chance, at Stockdale from downtown. Turnaround, Cavalier, no. So he got the ball, Dave, three consecutive times on offense. And right there, that just rolled off the front. Inside, no good. The little turnaround there by Shorty. Boy, they had another open three and passed it up. And a steal. Fobble. And is that going to be offensive or not? It will be a blocking foul. Yeah, Hoff tried to throw the ball ahead. Gives up the steal, the house is back, it doesn't quite get set, but here you see, there's the lob, almost had it, just not quite high enough. And there's the skip pass for the next three. Four trainer, they pick up right where they left off. Free throw good by Stogdill. He's got 10 now in the ball game, second player in double figures for trainer. Clausen with 10 as well. 
And one more coming up for the 6'2 sophomore. Two sophomores in the starting lineup, both Stogdell and Schwarty, just sophomores. Forty-five, twenty-nine. Favor of Trainer. Price being manhandled there a little bit. Almost out of bounds on the catch there. And to get it to come here, he gives it up to Hoff this time. And a uh, loose ball, and to get it back, we're going to get a foul committed by Trainer. Clausen will pick that one up. They're trying now. Oberhauser not bringing the ball up the court. They've got him in the post, letting Price bring it up. That is Clausen's third, so we'll keep an eye on that. Inside, oh, oh, oh. the foul and count it. And they're going to get Stogdill. They're just again out of the out of bounds play, turn. Okay. Yep. They just did not need to come down. Stogdill just keep his hands up there, make him shoot over top. Well, you got to feel like Coach Thomas told his junior hand, listen, we need you the second half. And Boy, they are going right to him every single time. Yeah, and it's all been in the post. Send it over, Hauser can take their turns in there. Two minutes gone here, quarter number three. 13 point lead for Trader. Make it 16. Jorgensen just. Well, again, it's uh, Cavalier getting the foul. And Let's see if they give, they're going to give him two or they're going to say he was passing. But here, the penetration, the swing, just comes off a little down screen for, uh, uh, for Jorgensen and, and just a catch and shoot. It just seems, Dave, that the Falcons are, are a second late on every single one of those passes and cannot get to the shooter. Well, they're, you know, they're trying to get pressure on him, but they just can't do, get enough of it. And then, like you're saying, then they're a half step late getting the shooter. And we've got a foul on the floor this time. And again, to get the ball right back to Cavalier. Well, we're not even two minutes into this game, and that's the sixth team foul now on Trainer. Oberhauser will inbound. He goes way outside to Price. Cavalier wants the ball again at the free throw line. Passes it up. True Ox. Floater, air ball. This time driving in and count it for Stockdale. A nice move with a fake pass. Here as he gets a penetration, fakes the pass, takes the contact, he gets the right spin. The kiss off the glass. Stockdale with a chance for three here. Well, he comes in, he's only averaging uh, Eight and a half a game. He's got a chance here to give himself 12. And he misses that one. It's a 50 to 32 lead. And we got a traveling violation on Oberhauser. Fans don't like it. On oh, a breakdown defensively for Trainer. Nobody picked him up coming down the court. And he just went right into the contact trying to draw the foul, but uh, shuffled his feet beforehand. Stogdell passing it to Falco. Oh! And using the ball out of bounds. It's a turnover. Falcons will take over. Swarty, Jorgensen both back in for the Cardinals. Swarty with the three fouls there so far. Again, we'll see if maybe they get down. Get Oberhauser or Cavalier down in the post to pick up the fourth foul. Oh, Inside again, Cavalier. Can't get his own rebound. And Trainer on the run again. Bobble, Clausen, short. And nearly some contact there. They get it to Cavalier. Oberhauser switching hands and kick. And a good job by Oberhauser. Got on the uh, swing pass. 
saw the gap and just again, they're going right at Schwarty with his three fouls. Cuts it to 16, 4.14 to go, jump shot, and it rattles in for Dylan Fobble. And we got a timeout taken by Trainer this time. Well, it's a 30 second timeout, we'll keep it right here. 52 to 34 Trainer, let's take a look at the last one. And a good patience here by Fobble. Just a little pull up and things are going that well for Trainer with the forward bounce off the front of the rim. Now three players in double figures for uh, Trainer Fobble with 10, 10 for Clausen and 13 for Stogdill. Post captioning brought to you by Buda Vista University in Storm Lake, Iowa. BBU is the only college in Iowa to promise a solid internship, a degree in four years, and a job within six months of graduation. Find out more at bbu.edu slash now. The trainer used that 28 to 10 second quarter to, to just really take hold of this game, and they have not shown any signs here to start the third quarter of letting go. I like the aggressiveness out of the Falcons, going to the Vim. Again, getting Cavalier involved. And now he's bottled up near the free throw line. Here's a three-pointer blocked. We're gonna have a foul here. Yeah, we'll have a one and one, but before that we are going to take a break. It's 52 to 34, Trader. This is the Iowa High School State Championships live on the High V Championship Network. Farmers Care. Learn more at iowapork.org. Take advantage of this offer from Alliant Energy and start saving money and energy now. There are other options too. Learn how with a free top to bottom home energy assessment. Find air leaks, install LED bulbs, and get simple ideas to save energy for your entire home. Plus rebates to help you replace that old furnace or air conditioner. Oh. It's easy. Call 1-866-ALLIANT or visit AlliantEnergy.com slash options. All you have to do, you just have to get their feet here on the pavement and bing. Being in Des Moines, you just get it through the experience. I'm a fan of a lot of our like fast, casual cuisine. A little theater, some great restaurants. There's a lot going on musically. If you can't find things to do in Des Moines, you must be boring. This is a magical place. And we're back live here on the High V Championship Network. Rick Silvestrini and Dave Lane with you in this 2A semifinal where Trainer has the lead here, 52 to. 34. One and one opportunity coming up here for Applington Parkersburg Jr. Bodden is at the line, just a 41% free throw shooter during the season. Front end on the way and he makes it. <laughs> That's a pure 41% shooter there. <laughs> One more for the junior. And misses that one. And an offensive board. Cavalier up no. And fighting for it. We've got a tie up and a jump ball. And the possession arrow going the other way to Trainer. Falcons here applying some full court pressure. Let's take a look at our Shields three point tally, Dave. And that's off the steal. The Falcons grab two, but we've got 14 combined three-pointers in this game, but it's Appleton Parker's third with 10 of those, but now they turn the ball over and a chance here for a little run for the Falcons. Well, and again, that's what uh, uh, Trainer looked like early. Had five early turnovers in the first quarter, and since then, essentially two quarters of play, they just had uh, they just had three. That's their fourth, but again, this is what AP's got to do if they're going to try to get back into this game. 
So Trainer now with 10 turnovers. Nine for Applington Parkersburg. Falcons with the ball. Off to Ellis, and we got a foul on the floor, and this will be shooting here because that is uh, already foul number eight on Trainer. Yeah, everything's going to be the three point line, and again, this is going to benefit Appleton Parkersburg with matching up with what they're doing. They're really, they have really come out here and they've attacked the basket. They're not looking to settle for threes and try to uh, play some hero ball to get back into it. Ellis misses the front end over one and one. Biden right there for the putback. So they get two out of the possession. It's a 13-point game. And again, pressure defense. Fottle up ahead to Clausen. There's another wide open three. This one short. Rebound Falcons. And Oberhauser behind the back dribble. And gives it up to Aaron Price. Cavalier from downtown in and out. No. And rebound trainer. Is picking back up again. And a foul the other way. That's just the third team foul on the Falcons. We're at the 236 mark in quarter number three. Well, and I think you'll see the last three by Trainer. More of a rushed attempt there, and not the uh, the pace that they've been making their threes at. 230 to go. Falcons with a little run here. Trainer trying to counter. Another one from downtown. And count it for Fable. That is their 11th three pointer of the ball game. Baseline Cavalier. Good move. And he scores. And a good little jab step to the middle. But Cavalier then able to kind of contort his body around. Here you see, he just faces up, gets the step, gets around, and just some slow moving there by Dickerson for training. Cavalier now with 13 points. Trying to make it 14 here with the free throw. Substitutions for trainer. Again, at, coming in averaging just under 19 points a game. Seth Young checked in there for the Cardinals. And you can see here with uh, Appleton being in the bonus already in their 15th free throw of the game. Zara Shields free throw total there and maybe a little worried look by Scott Rucker. We've got a foul near midcourt. Hitting the court very hard for Applington Parkersburg as junior Bobby. And it looked like uh, Fobble came down right on his ankle. And Bodden says he's okay, but Gonna take him out right now, put Truox back in. Well, he, Baden's been very active on the offensive glass and on their pressure defense here. They gotta just give him a little breather and get him back in the game. And the two to go in the third, 13 point lead here. Nearly a turnover scramble for the ball in the backcourt. Oberhauser can't get it, and Trainer comes back up with it. And the steal the other way, off. Ahead, Oberhauser. Another <laughs> point game and a foul on Appleton Parkersburg. It's going to be called on Truox. Uh, I think they got Oberhauser. Or did they get Oberhauser? Take again, a look. Good throw ahead here and good catch. I thought he threw it a little too late. Had about one shot at it, and they were able to get it. 16 now for Oberhauser. Nearly had another steal. And now Trainer with the ball up by just 11. They led by as many as 18. The runner, no. Offensive board and a foul. And a great job by Schwarty there on the glass. Yeah, just uh, able to elevate and get the rebound. They got uh, Appleton forced the shot they wanted. Just could not finish the possession okay. with the defensive rebound. Shorty will shoot a pair, 63% on the season. He's 0 for 1 tonight from the line. Second foul on Oberhauser. And this one's too hard, as you said. The Schwarty, one of two sophomores in this young trainer starting lineup. 
Well, and really, if you're the Falcons, your goal is, all right, let's try to get this to eight. Seven or eight by the end of the quarter, and you really feel like then you can get in a run and get after it here. And makes that one, so one of three from the line tonight for Schwartz. 56-44 trainer. Got to go down to Cavalier again. Yep, he wants the ball. He's got it. Spin move. And a block by Schwartz. On the run. And now they'll slow it up a little bit. Or maybe not. Stockhill. More communication there by the Falcons. Never got the ball stopped. That was a big possession. Wide open underneath. And Price in easy two. Good find from Oberhauser. Schwarty was looking to stay with Cavalier on the roll. Again, some pressure in the backcourt. Do they throw the ball away? No, schwarty has got it. Another three ball. That one too hard. Offensive board. Schwarty loses it in the backcourt. And we've got a scramble. It's going to be a jump ball. And the possession arrow will go to Appleton Parkersburg. Well, you had a little hesitation on the Falcons going after the, the initial rebound, but I thought uh, big play there from Truox, diving on the floor and able to tie up and, and get the possession back. So a chance here for the Falcons to cut into this lead. They're down by 12. Do you play for the final shot here, Dave? I, I think the way that they're shooting, the way that trainer's shooting, I think you're fine holding for one here. 22 seconds, nearly throwing it away as Oberhauser tipped out of bounds by uh, Luke Clausen. Although they've got uh, Schwarty is out here. We're going to bring Jorgensen in for Seth Young. They've had some success on these out of bounds plays of getting the ball right into Cavalier. Well, if they get a good look early, they might just take the shot. Bring it into Ellis out of Cavalier. We've got a foul. So free throws coming up. Stops the clock at 17.6. It's double bonus the rest of the way now yeah. for the Falcons. So that is huge. And I think the other thing to look at is you've got, uh, you know, Schwartz's got three fouls, Clausen's got three fouls, Jorgensen's got three fouls, and Tarks has three fouls for Trainer. And the way this game is being called, I know it's three fouls here going to the fourth, but that's a lot of a lot of players out there with three fouls that have you know can run the risk of picking up four and five in a hurry. Cavalier now with 15 points in the game. One more free throw on the way. This to cut it to 10. Good. He's going to get a breather here with his three fouls. So they'll bring Truox back in, and there's 17.6 seconds left, and again. You see the Falcons with the full court pressure. And a loose ball. And a bump in the backcourt and a foul. And that is the seventh team foul on Applington Parkersburg. So free throws the other way. Uh, just an unfortunate play there for Bachman. He read it, was going for the steal. The ball got fumbled, and he just was not able to get out of the way. But now you're going to have Oberhauser and Cavalier both check back in. Here, they were out for defensive purposes, both with three fouls. Now, of course, they get a chance here with the uh, just under 15 seconds to go to get a shot. Lawson's an 83% free throw shooter. Missed his only attempt though tonight, but makes this one. Back to an 11-point lead. And the second one goes. All right, 14.8 uh, seconds left here for Applington Parkersburg in the third. They trail by 12, 10 seconds. Oberhauser with the basketball to Ellis. Ellis looking inside, only four seconds to go. Got to hurry, and we got a traveling violation on Kobe Hoff. Well, they had the set to get Oberhauser into the post, and really they wanted to throw it up to Cavalier, who was open at the high post as well, but he... Uh, he had already cut through. And did they get the shot off? Nearly put it in. But that will be the end of quarter number three. Trainer 60, Applington Parkersburg 48. 
This is the Iowa High School State Championships live on the High V Championship Network. We're back live here in the High V Championship Network. Fourth quarter underway here. Trainer up 60 to 48. We'd like to acknowledge and thank DMAC, the Principal Charity Classic, and Shields for their continued support they provide that allows us to show you live the Iowa High School State Basketball Championships. All right, here we go with quarter number four. And the Falcons make a run here. Wide open three. That one's off the mark. Raiders cool off a little bit here. Yeah, it's been a little bit since they've made a three. They almost made that one at the end of the quarter. Oh, it. And he is fouled as he picked his game up in the second half. They're just aggressive going right at that three. That's going to be his fourth foul. And now a chance to get it into single digits. Take, let's take a look, Dave. Just right at it. And Schwarty just kept kind of backing up. And committed to, he's got to either flop or he's got to try to get out of the way and block it. Good. It's a nine-point game. Here we go again. Full-court pressure by the Falcons. Trainer gets it to Fobble. Now Klaassen. Well, the three ball was working earlier, Dave, but a little tougher right now. They go inside, and a great drive by Stockdale. Back to an 11 point lead. Morty's still out there with the four fouls. A deep three, come on! 22 points for Cavalier! 18 coming here in the second half. Just his ninth three of the year. Single-handedly trying to bring Appleton Parkersburg back wide open underneath, nearly threw the ball away. And now a loose ball scramble, and we've got a timeout called by Trader just in the nick of time. But here, nobody, Cavalier just decides, all right, Schwarty's not going to guard me. So he knocks it down, second attempt of the day. Again, just his ninth made three. Unbelievable, what a half. Carter Cavalier is putting together. He's past the season average, which is 19 a game. He's done that here just in the second half. Unbelievable. Well, you got to think, Dave, that Coach Thomas made a concerted effort at halftime to tell his junior, listen, we got to get you the ball and you got to be aggressive. And he has done just that. Well, and he's been able to be out on the floor. He picked up. He was in foul trouble there, again, with three fouls in the first half. And it's just one of those of, hey, this is the guy that brought you here. We've got to get, he's going to get us back into it, and he's done just that. Cuts it to eight with 6.38 remaining. It's the 2A semifinals here at Wells Fargo Arena in Des Moines. Trainer cross court pass Fobble. Fobble's going to pull up, 15-footer, too hard. Again, Trainer just one for their last seven from three. Again, going in, untouched, is coming in! It's a six-point game! Boy, a dangerous pass, and we've got a foul. Uh-oh, is that on Cavalier? Yeah, that's going to be his fourth. Oh, boy. And he's got three of them that have just kind of been fluke calls, like 
in that situation where he's going for a loose, loose ball. Let's take a look. Tries to get out of the way. Tries to avoid Boy, it. He didn't, he didn't make much contact there, but that yep. angle it didn't look at. I think initially when I saw it, that left arm kind of got into him a little bit. But he had one earlier just on a, on a free throw, a missed free throw, where he was late and reacting and kind of went at it, and the, the trainer guy beat him to the spot. But uh, I, I think at this point in time, you you got to keep him out there. Yep. He's going to roll the dice. You see there Coach Thomas. He was shaking his head at the call, but he's got no choice but to leave his main man out there with four fouls. Free throw is good by Claussen. You know, the other thing, though, is that if you've got you've got Schwarty on the bench, you could get Oberhauser in there and get him in the post and let him try to work a little bit. They've got the size advantage. Those free throws good. 64-56. Well, Cavalier with the ball. Yeah, in his hands again. The one thing on those drives he's got to be aware of is drawn, uh, getting a charge call. He wants the ball back. He now he sends up another three. That one's too hard off the iron and picked up by Trainer. Foul. Baseline. That is a tough shot, but an offensive board block. Hoff with the basketball will slow it up, gets it to Cavalier, Cavalier, three players on him, draws the foul, and three throws coming up for Carter Cavalier. Uh, is that on, is that Jorgensen, that's going to be his fourth? So foul trouble all around here, Dave. And we talked about being in the double bonus the entire half. Yeah, just about, I think what they were in the one and one with about three, Three or four minutes left in the third quarter. As Oberhauser checks back in. 25 for Cubble here. Trainer's going to come back with Shorty. Takes out Jorgensen again with he just picked up his fourth foul. Chess match here by both coaches. And you said it earlier, Dave. Aaron Thomas is going to keep Cavalier in there. He doesn't have much of a choice. It's been his main weapon here in the second half, and he makes them both. 26 for Cavalier. It's a six-point game again. Trainer led by 18, and they turn the ball over. Cavalier, what a pass! And a score by Bodden, what an assist by Cavalier! A great pass and a great catch and a great finish. Four-point game. Under five to go. What a comeback, loose ball, and a foul called on Bodden. That would have been an easy two. Here we see the steal, and just threading the needle. I'm assuming that was to Bodden. It may have been to Oberhauser. <laughs> but again, the presence of mind from Bodden to catch and finish so in traffic. Goal. Stogdill will have a one and one opportunity here. He is two of three from the free throw line tonight. And too hard. Four point game. And that was the fourth foul on Bond. Guess who's got the ball? Cavalier gives it up this time. Now they have a wide open three and doesn't go down as Price had a shot at it. Really a travel there by Stogdell, and now we're going to get a traveling violation. I just think he just caught himself on his own foot. You know, one of the things we started to see with all this pressure that Af that Afton Parkersburg has been applying, yeah, he just, he just fell down. tripped himself up. But with all this pressure that they've been having, all the energy the trainer's been having to exhort to, to beat the pressure. That kind of gets into the ledge, and that's why, again, you see them. They struggled now here from the three-point line most of the second half. Oberhauser, he's got a lot of Cavalier. He's running the foul there. Bodden's got it back to Cavalier. Cavalier wants a screen. Instead, he goes the other way, feeds Ellis. Ellis pops, and that's still good. So a couple of outside shots here taken by Appleton Parkersburg. Bodden's got to be careful. 
Nearly thrown away again, and the double team in the corner. When's the last time we've had a three? Well, there it is. <laughs> Asked and answered. Stockton. The 12th three-pointer in the game for Trainer. Cavalier gets the roll right back at you. Cavalier Whoa. now with 28. Well, what a second half. Group. 327 to go. High point ball game, another open three. That one's short. Now if you're Trainer, you got to think the clock's on your side. Might not be to your advantage to throw those threes up, and we're going to get a timeout call Good by time Appleton out. Parkersburg. So ahead to break. 67-62. Back after this on the High Beach Championship Network. At High V Market Grill, you'll find something for everyone. Steaks grilled to perfection, delicious pasta, wood oven flatbread pizzas, and the burgers are the best in town. Plus, you've got to try our delicious Sunday brunch. And hy Market Grills are next to hy stores, so it's not like we're going to run out of food. It's good food, good times, and we love to see people smile. So get on into hy Market Grill today. When we act as an advocate for Iowa farmers, I rise up. When we reinvest $80 million in a decade to bring jobs to rural communities, I rise up. When we provide nearly half a million dollars in scholarships to young Iowans each year, I rise up. When we invest in solutions that create opportunities and improve the quality of life for all Iowans, I rise up. We're Iowa Farm Bureau, and we do these things because we're your neighbors. We're Iowans, and nothing feels better than seeing Iowa rising. Dreams start early. Illustrated straight from the heart. Big or small, dreams take hard work to grow into reality. To bring your dreams to life, sometimes you need a little help. So surround yourself with people who believe in your dreams and count on Bank Iowa to help you reach them. Bank Iowa, for the dreamer in all of us. And yeah, we're back here live on the High V Championship Network. Rick Silvestrini and Dave Lane with 3.13 to go. It's a five-point lead for Trainer. Let's see what Coach Thomas here draws up. Out of the timeout. We're going to have some discussion here about the Iowa High School State Basketball Championships are presented by the Iowa Farm Bureau as sole title sponsor of the Iowa High School Athletic Association. Iowa Farm Bureau is proud to present Championship Week and to showcase Iowa's youth and all they have to offer this great state. We're having some discussion here about substitution. And I think, um, let's see, they're asking Coach Thomas about something and now uh, it's like we're all good. Neither coach is upset. Uh, the officials got it right. Of course, if both coaches are upset, that usually means the, coach, the <laughs> officials got it right, too. All right, Appleton Parkersburg down by five and with the basketball. Price, Cavalier. Well, he's left open for three, but passed it up that time. He's hit one here tonight. They try to get the ball to him and nearly throw it away. They do throw it away. Uh, just the length there, Schwarty, to knock it away. Big defensive... Uh, Turnover there for Trainer. Lost an offensive possession. Open for three, way downtown, and Oberhauser rips it down. And I'm not sure that's the shot that Trainer coach Scott Rucker wanted with a five point lead. Cavalier, the move, and they're going to call a foul. That looked like a lot of ball. That's going to be on Fava. That's just his third, but a good post coming to the middle. Tries to split in between it. They got him. Yep. Got the hand on the ball, but then the rest of the arm got the other. 
got the body there. Cavaliers made a living here at the line tonight. 11 of 13 from the free throw line. And most of this damage game coming in the second half. Oh yeah, four points at the half. That's his 25th here of just the second half. The 29 in the game. Looking for 30 here on this free throw. Missed to cut it to three in a one possession game. And he does. All right, we got a ball game here, Dave. 2.22 left. Remember, Trader led by 18 at one point. And nearly a steal by Bond. Getting it back as Trainer. Now they trap at half court. And Oberhauser with the steal. And he falls down. There is no call. He's hurt. He's on the floor. He's hurt. He is still down. And Trainer the other way. And it's good by Cobble. Boy, there was a lot of contact. And Coach Thomas wondering where the call was. 69, 64, 145 to go. They had a chance. I think Oberhauser just tripped over his own feet. And now it's Oberhauser too hard out of bounds. And he knocks it into the hands of Trainer, Trying to knock it off of Trainer. 130 to go. And now they'll slow it and eat some clock. 69, 64. Again, you've got Bodden out there with four. Cavaliers got four. They trap at half court. Cavaliers got to watch it there. Stock Hill, 109 to go. And now they finally foul. Well, here we see they get the trap. This is a couple possessions ago, but just going, and I think he tripped himself up. Yeah, but I, I think the reason, Dave, they didn't call a travel there was he never had yeah. he never had possession of the ball. No, he never went down to the ground with it. But a huge bucket going the other way, getting that lead back up to five. Bobble makes the free throw. He's got 16. And that puts it back to a six-point lead with 107 to go. It's a big free throw here to make it a three-possession game. Yeah, Appleton's not necessarily a great three-point shooting team. You don't need to hunt for threes right now. You can still attack. You just got to go. Here's Cavalier. Sees that opening. Draws the contact. And no foul, but knocked out of bounds. And it will remain with Appleton Parkersburg. Well, they've had some success again with these out-of-bounds plays. Finding Cavalier. Off the inbound. Looking. Still looking, still looking, got to hurry, gets to Price. Price gets it blocked. Trainer's got the ball, now they got a foul. And they will foul uh, Dylan Fobble. Right now, Trainer's in control here with the 71-64 lead. 55 seconds to go. And Fobble at the free throw line, where tonight he is two of two. Well, and not a bad take in there for, is that Hoff? for uh, Appleton Parkersburg, but just going up against too much size. This the first. Truox coming back in. The trainer looking to get into the finals. And misses them both. Little life here for the Falcons. Oberhauser. Truox, a long three, that's well off the mark, and who's going to get the ball? We've got a scramble, and did the timeout get called in time? Yep. It'll still be Appleton's ball, though. Jump ball and possession arrow toward the Falcons. Thomas trying to get a timeout there, but couldn't. So now there's 40.1 seconds left in the seven-point lead. Here's a three-pointer. No good, and we've got a foul on... Trainer by Clawson. Yep, be his fourth foul. So, for the Falcons, they get the clock stopped and a chance to score two. So Truox is at the line. Now he's only a 42% free throw shooter. He's one for three tonight, so he has struggled tonight as well. Two big ones coming up. Makes it. Now 
Now they're going to take Kubler out so he doesn't have to play defense. Well, you're going to have to get a foul early. Fobble just missed the two free throws, but he's 82% on the year. They've got Bodden in with four fouls. Second one on the way. And Tuox makes them both. Big time free throws there. And quickly they get the foul on Fobble. I mean, you look at the Cardinal lineup, Dave, a lot of good free throw shooters here. It's like pick your poison. You've got three starters over 80% on the year. Schwarty is um, the lowest of any of the starters out there at 63%. And they're not inbounding the ball to him at all. No. Free throw good. So Cavalier back in. Leads all scorers with 30 points. 34.8 seconds left. Time running out for the Falcons. And another good free throw there by Fobble. Out of hurry if you're the Falcons. Oberhauser on the dribble. 30 seconds left. Three pointer on the way. In and out. No rebound. Trainer and the foul will be on number five, Grant Truox. Not a bad look there from the top. Nope. For Hoff. Again, he's their leading three point shooter. So back to the he line is Fobble. Four of six from the line. Double bonus both ways. Again, Appleton Park is where they started out. They were four of seven at one point in time from three. And now just one for their last nine. And the Falcons got off to a great start. They were up by eight late that first quarter, Dave, and then Trainer ended up in the third, early in the third, opening up an 18-point lead. And Appleton Parkersburg cut it to three. Three once, with the ball. Yeah, with the ball. They got here the, in the turnover. Fourth. And uh, again, Oberhauser just kind of off his own feet, tripped up. Another three-pointer off the mark, and there's only 15 seconds left, and that should do it as Trainer is going to head into the finals. And the Falcons will back off, and your final is going to be 75 to 66. And the Cardinals are headed to the 2A championship game. Wow, what a game. Not what we expected, uh, or not what we thought was going to happen after watching the first two or three minutes, but a tremendous second quarter. The lights out shooting from Trainer in about a 10 minute stretch there where they could not miss from three. Got them the lead and they're just able to hang on. Tremendous fight there from Appleton Parkersburg. Yeah, I can't say enough about uh, Cavalier as well. 30 points for him, but not enough. 75 to 66, we'll be right back. You are watching live the High V Championship Network. Yeah, we're back live here on the Ivy Championship Network where Trainer upended Appleton Parkersburg 75 to 66, and the Cardinals are in the championship game. Let's take a look at some of the highlights here. Uh, what ended up being a very good game, Dave, and uh, early on, Appleton Parkersburg had it going. Just could not miss the uh, combination there, Oberhauser and Kovalier, but uh, <laughs> neither could Trainer. They had struggled five turnovers early, and then you just see the the three-point shooting there from Jorgensen, Lawson, Fobble, all knocking them down. 
But again, in the second half, when you look at what Cavalier did, four points in the set in the first half, 26 in the second, finishing with 30, game high. Yeah, I'm, you got to think if he wasn't in foul trouble in the first half, what might have been. But what a, a game for him, 30 points at a losing cause. But it was Trainer winning it 75-66. to 66. They will be in the championship game looking for their second ever title. They won it all back in 2015. We'll take another break and return. This is the Iowa High School State Championships live on the High V Championship Network. <laughs> 